we will all offer the prayer of meditation. Lord, Almighty Father, we believe that you are a Father of forgiveness. If we confess, you will forgive us. At this dawn, may we be a person who has a new start. May we be receive solutions from our past hurts. May we receive freedom from our past disasters and curses. At this dawn, may we become a blessed man. May our families in darkness change to light. May our children sing with peace and with praises. May our families be happy and satisfied and through our lives may we show others and receive the blessing of being a witness. We believe that we will become patriots to our country. In Jesus' name we thank you and bless. Amen. Please freely say the Apostles' Creed. Let's find Deuteronomy chapter 30, verse 15. If you're inside of Christ, you are a new man. But people who aren't doing well, they keep thinking that they are the same person as yesterday. Well, yesterday I had this bad relationship. And they keep having that heart. So God says, okay, well then you have that, the, the same disasters and curses of yesterday. So you keep coming outside of Christ. You keep going the way of disasters and curses. We need to say, I am someone who will do well. I am a new man. So if you have that heart, then that's what will happen. No matter how much you try to change that heart, some religions, they try so hard to empty their hearts, but it doesn't work. There are a lot of people in this world it's a great time but out of all those people there's hardly anyone that knows that this word is a man's food why are there so many fake churches if they knew that this word was food they wouldn't be talking about philosophers when they talk about one Bible verse people want to be smart and wherever they go to be respected there are a lot of books but the greatest book is God's word where is that recorded yes Isaiah is correct too well actually Isaiah says doesn't say that Isaiah says to read the book carefully Isaiah 34 16 not not there where does it say that this book is the greatest so even though I give it to you it's it's worthless because you don't have a an address so no matter how many telephones there are on this world if you don't have a phone number then that, that phone is useless and that's the way you live that's why you don't do well you know even if it's just one you need to make it yours so even if there's one thing in this tape that you know properly even if you're going to pick your nose learn how to do it properly but you're neither this nor that and so you just wander around you don't do well if you know how to make udon noodles properly then your business will do well but you don't know how to make udon noodles you don't know make how to make rice so you don't do well you don't become a witness you don't make others do well why because your heart you keep making your heart in the wrong way let's read see i have set before you today life and prosperity and death and adversity Amen. So people who don't do well, they don't go the way of blessings, but they keep going the way of 
of wrath. That's the problem. In life, there are only two ways, either blessings or wrath. Let's read it again. See, I have set before you today life and prosperity and death and adversity. Amen. So this is the Old Testament. But it says here, I have set before you today, now, this dawn. But people who don't do well, they always have the wrong heart. A filthy heart that doesn't do well. You, when, whoever you meet, you need to go lower than that person. But you don't want to. You want to act like you're better. That is someone who is cursed. Why is it when I meet someone for the first time, I say that I am the worst, I am the most ignorant? How can you greet someone like that? If it was just for show, that would be a fake. But it comes out naturally that I am a sinner. That's when the truth is inside of me. But not one person does that. If someone says, you are you are a bad person, they, you get upset. How thankful is it to hear that? The whole Bible says, this is your sin, that is your sin. What is love? It's to point out your sin. But you hate your sin point being pointed out and you go the way of disasters and curses and then you say, why am I not doing well? What is in front of me? When? In the Old Testament? No, today. Today, in front of me today. Let's read it again. See, I have set be before you today life and prosperity and death and adversity. Amen. If you keep receiving wrath and disasters, that's because you're going the way of death. Even now you go that way. What does it say here? It says, see. Well, your eyes need to be opened in order to see. Let's find Matthew chapter 13. So because your eyes are not opened, that's why you cannot see the blessings in front of you and instead you take the disasters and curses. Why is it that you don't do well? Because that's the way you keep going. And then you say, Pastor, oh, you say the ancestors' sins are coming, so that's what's happened to me. Well, if you're inside of Christ, that disappears. So you cannot grumble against your ancestors or the society or, or the government. If you grumble, then 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 10, God will kill you. So why do that? So what is in front of us? Blessings and what? Okay, let's go back to Deuteronomy chapter 30, verse 15. There's blessings and adversity but it doesn't just end there let's read it again see I have set before you today life and prosperity and death and adversity amen so life is with what if you want to receive blessings, you have to go the way of eternal life. And what about wrath? Wrath is with, with ruin. So if you go that way of ruin, you continue to receive disasters and curses. So if you are, if you are under wrath, you're a Pharisee who is scorning, scorning the word. So if you are receiving wrath, what you are also with death. What is death? It's to die. If you backbite others, that is death. But you can't even distinguish where a true church is and you go to denominations. You keep going the way of death and, and then say, but I'm dying. Why live like that? If you have demons, it's like with like. Proverbs chapter 13, verse 20 that person will not hear the words of the wise because they're foolish Matthew chapter 13 verse 14 let's find that who is the most evil person in front of God someone who acts as if they know the word but then doesn't act it that person is detestable Titus chapter 1 verse 
16. So these fakes that don't change the actions, they don't make the word theirs, and they just sit there wanting something else. That faith is not a saint. That faith, that faith is not part of the church. That's why they don't do well. They can't give profit to others. Why be so stupid and go the way of ruin? Matthew chapter 13, verse 14 and 15. Let's start. In their case, the prophecy of Isaiah is being fulfilled, which says, You will keep on hearing, but will not understand. You will keep on seeing, but will not perceive. For the heart of this people has become dull. With their ears they scarcely hear, and they have closed their eyes. Otherwise they would see with their eyes, hear with their ears, and understand with their heart and return. And I would heal them. Uh, verse 16 but blessed are your eyes because they see and your ears because they hear amen so those people who are n who are not blessed if you're not if you don't have blessings then what do you have you have wrath and death so there's two thing two types of things in front of me blessings and death wrath curses there's only those two things so so if you receive blessings then you receive eternal life. So either you do more and more well and go to heaven, then you have to receive blessings. Otherwise, you're ruined, you don't do well and you go to hell. So if you receive wrath, it's a Pharisee who hears the word but doesn't change it to their actions. So, a blessed person has to see and hear, but why is it that you cannot see and hear? Because of the heart. The heart is the problem. Why do you keep the filthy things inside of your heart? So, if you keep going in Matthew chapter 15, verse 19, it talks about the sins of the heart. You look at people who don't do well because of their sin. What sticks to the sin? Demons. But because they don't know that, they go to fake churches and that's why they cannot say Amen. If you have demons, then you're a beast that perishes. But God, He is the Creator. And so, if you cannot say Amen to God's Word, then it's because you have demons. So you will receive curses and disasters. You are the worst of evil people. You will go to hell. So if you can't say Amen, you need to know. They are evil. Why are they here? If you have anything to do with them, they will try to cheat you. So their actions are fake. And then they say, why am I not doing well? Because their heart is evil. So if your heart is evil, you have to get rid of the sins of, in the, sins of the heart and the sins that hate to take God in their heart. So is that person good or bad? Stupid people say that that person is good. How can that person be good? Do you know how stupid our society is? People who send money to that to the person who cut off the son's finger. They say, oh, the father is evil, but the child is good. The child is even worse than the father. Where does it say that? 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 13. If the father has a hundred evil things, then the child adds their own to that, so they're worse. So if the if the father is a petty thief, then the then the son is a grand thief. So if you don't even know this, you're a beast that perishes. A monkey, if it gets bitten by a crocodile, all the other monkeys come and and help out that monkey, even if their their arms are being so stretched. Seems like they have so much human affection, but they're they're animals. They're not people, they're animals. So, Korean society, we don't know what's what. And that's why the world looks at us and says, what a strange country. You know, we're supposedly the most educated, but we're twisted, we're crooked. Why? Because we can't fix our hearts. So, at dawn, what does he help us with? With our heart to make us a new man. But why is it that you don't receive help and instead you want to take that wrath again? If you've come this dawn to receive help, then you should receive help. If you don't receive help, can you do well? No. 
You have to go inside of Christ to receive help. So at this dawn, if you confess your sins and you will receive God's help and change your heart, why is it that you don't change your heart and you always live like that? Why is it that you receive wrath? Because you don't change your heart. So if you just say you go east, there's all these landmines and and, and bombs, then you die. Let's say the other way, it's a field of the west is the way of a field of flowers. Then then you should go west. You should change your heart. But because you don't change your heart, you keep saying, "Why am I so unfortunate? Why am I so unlucky?" Well, then change the way that you're going. But my heart doesn't change. That's because you still have demons inside of you. It means you're not inside of Christ. If you're inside of Christ, will you need to do four step repentance? If you go inside of four step repentance your heart changes so then everything that you didn't do well will now go well do well you will go the way of blessings you will be healed you and your children will go the way of doing well today may you change that way so the sins that come out of our heart that's why we're not doing well so even though we hear we don't know even though we see we don't know Matthew chapter 13 Let's have a look. So, in the the prophecy of Isaiah, so he says, you will keep on hearing, but will not understand. So people hear the Bible, but they cannot realize. So because they cannot realize, they are beasts that perish. Perish. Psalms chapter forty-nine, verse twenty. So that's why they keep receiving disasters and curses. You will keep on seeing, but will not perceive, because you don't have the knowledge from God, because you have worldly knowledge, that's why you say strange things. Verse 15, for the heart of this people has become dull, so it's because our hearts are dull. Why are our hearts dull? Because we do not realize that 24 hours a day, sins come from our heart. That's why fake churches, they have nothing to repent of. If you've eaten, what do you have to do with with the dishes? So, like a dog or a pig, you know how to wash the dishes, but you don't know how to wash your heart. So that's why you're a beast that perishes. So everyone knows that after you eat a meal, you have to wash the dishes. So even though no one tells you, you know that's what you need to do. If you're a man, that's what you do. A beast would just eat. So if it's obvious that you do the dishes after you eat, then a man has to know that they have to eat the word. Matthew chapter 4 verse 4. So you come here to hear the word, but why don't you wash? How can you offer up a dog bowl? Why is it that you do not repent? It is truly pitiful. That's why you receive curses and disasters. You keep going the way of death, the way of the way to hell. God, He tries to stop you by giving you wrath. Even though He's teaching you this, why is it that you keep going that way? Today, let's change that. Verse 15. For the heart of this people. So, you and I were all the same. Our hearts are the same, which is the hearts are dull. With their ears, they scarcely hear. No matter how much you hear the mystery of forced repentance, demons cannot hear. If you're asked what is the mystery of God, they cannot say. Even though they preach this, they they don't know. So how? So that is a denomination that is filled with curses and demons. So they have closed their eyes, otherwise they would see with their eyes, hear with their ears and understand with their heart and return. So they're fearful to change, and that's why. Demons don't come to hear God's word, John chapter 8 verse 47, instead they go to hear worldly things, worldly, worldly words which is of ruin, and they go and meet up in dog gatherings. So do you have to heal your eyes and ears? So in verse 16, But blessed are your eyes because they see and your ears because they hear. But you don't have blessings. If you cannot see the blessings in front of you, if you cannot hear God's word that is being spoken to you, that's why you are not blessed, but you are 
cursed. That is a fake Christian. If you go to a fake church, you tell them about God's word. If you tell them about the mystery of God, they don't they don't know. So they're not blessed. So they will receive curses and disasters and their children will do worse. They are actually fearful to to be healed. So what are you like in front of all God? So what does God heal? He heals our hearts so that our eyes and our ears can hear and see so that we can see the blessings in front of us. If you are not being released, you're not fixing your ears and your ears, your ears and your eyes. So God has put even though you come here wanting blessings inside the demons are fearful that you will be healed that's why fake, fake church was can't come here they come here a few times and then they can't come and then they make excuses oh the word seems good but it, it, it pieces too much it's too extreme they say demon demonic words you look at the way they receive disasters and curses those fake churches the people who go to fake churches those families always have someone disabled they always have huge problems and then they say they believe in Jesus what kind of Jesus is like that he heals our eyes and our ears if our eyes and ears are open we don't go the way of a, of a bomb or we don't fall into the drain just because you know souls in front of you can you get there with your eyes closed no you have to open them so uh, let's be healed so that we become a blessed man but the demons inside of me are, are fearful to be healed and that's why people from fake churches they don't want to hear God's word and so they say do you have to do that if you do not obey God's word that is a demon that is a sin John chapter 16 verse 9 so from today let's have a new start at this dawn what help do we have to receive our heart has to be healed if our heart is healed our eyes and ears are healed then we become a blessed man that means a thousand generations receive blessings at this dawn let's receive this help and blessings let's get rid of the curses and disasters let's return from that and let's say to the person next to us let's open our eyes and have a new start let's open our eyes and have a new start how good is God so other churches if you hear words like this the whole day you feel upset but at Busan First Church it feels like you're being cursed but you feel refreshed if you have a lot of dirt on you if you scrub it it feels like it hurts but then you become refreshed if you are filthy and all you do is just splash some water on you you actually end up feeling more sticky you actually have to scrub it all off so let's let's cleanse our hearts to make it clean so what is inside of my heart grumbling complaining making excuses being upset oh you know on my way to dawn service I met someone who made me upset why leave that wash it with the blood of Christ and become a new wine skin so the blood of Christ gets rid of all filthiness inside of me oh pastor you know I I have I get so much stress inside of me or this is the temper I've received from my ancestors the blood of Christ gets rid, rid of it all even now the blood of Christ continues to flow for us let's close our eyes quietly the sins of our heart first thing is evil thoughts which is 10,000 evils so how tormented were our hearts we have pierced ourselves with 10,000 sins let's wash it by the blood of Christ whatever sin it will be cleansed if we keep washing then our heart becomes at peace whatever resentment and bitterness it will be released oh my youth you know I was I was raped by that person the he, that person deserves to die because he stole 
my money, he cheated me. If you wash it by the blood of Christ, it all disappears. Oh, because that person embezzled our family. When I find him, I'm going to take revenge. No, by the blood of Christ, it will all disappear. So, that means I've got no money. Well, if you open your eyes, then you'll see the blessings in front of you. The blessings of health, the blessings of material blessings, all blessings. At this dawn, let's make them mine. By the blood of Christ, let's keep cleansing our hearts. Oh, you say, well, evil thoughts, that seems simple. Well, there are 10,000, 1 Timothy chapter 6, verse 10. Let's be cleansed so that our ears and eyes are healed, so that we become blessed. May we and our children save the world. Why is it that we don't have blessings? You have to open your eyes and take what's in front of you. At this dawn, let's receive help. Let's continue to cleanse with the blood of Christ. When we're clean, when we're at peace, that's when our eyes have been healed. John chapter 14 verse 27 God's peace is different to the world may that peace overflow may that joy overflow inside of me by cleansing with the blood of Christ just before if you are a robber or if you are a prostitute if you cleanse with the blood of Christ it's ended it's a, you become a new man the past has nothing to do with me Oh, but when I go home, that person of the past is still there. Then you have to repent so that your eyes and ears are healed, so that you see them as a new person. Let's cast out Satan and repent completely with the blood of Christ. Lord, Lord, Lord. By the blood of Christ, may we be completely cleansed all the filthy sins inside of me may they be cleansed by the blood of Christ evil thoughts, murder fornication may we cleanse with the blood of Christ why is it that I don't have joy because I'm still bound by demons because my eyes and ears are not healed because I'm still tied up to the sin so may we be healed of not being joyful we still have excuses and grumblings and still have filthy thoughts by the blood of Christ that love where he carried the cross for me may we only receive help and blessings this dawn